For more than three decades, it's been one of Australia's most loved dramas. Charlene! But now Neighbours has been rocked by allegations of a toxic and racist work culture on set and a production company that has failed to adequately respond. There's something systemic here. There was something fundamentally um, dangerous. Hi. Hi. Actress Sharina Clanton was the first to blow the whistle. She appeared on the show as a guest character between October 2020 and March this year. She took to Instagram to share her experience on set. Overt and covert levels of racism were rife, often disguised as jokes, like a white actress openly calling another actress of colour a little monkey. Twice I endured the N-word, openly being used on set and in the green room. You go into a level of, did I just hear that? Did they say that right? Surely, no. Clanton is of Aboriginal and African-American heritage. She claims senior producers at Fremantle, the production company that makes Neighbours for Channel 10, failed to fix the problem. I was even told to go somewhere else by staff when confronting the actor directly because I was making others uncomfortable. The individual apparently was then put on a warning. I, if then it happened again, that word was still used and then um, laughed at even further by people who <laughs> thought it okay and appropriate and then to think such a word is funny. She spoke about it with the ABC's 7.30 program. Her pain, anguish and frustration evident during the interview. I was not supported. I was treated as the problem. I was told that I didn't know how to take a joke. Clanton says she was isolated and marginalised for speaking up about the racism. The retaliation for calling out this misconduct and racism often left me ostracised and further marginalised. In what was meant to have HR follow up and discuss this, led to them saying they were unsure of what else they could do. I'll never work for this show again. Calling it out left me isolated, bullied, marginalised, and I felt lonely. Your brother's clearly not a fan. <laughs> Picked up on that, did you? After Clanton's Instagram post went viral, other actors of colour came forward. Mean Wyatt posted on Twitter, I was a serious regular on Neighbours between 2014 and 2016, and I experienced racism on set. It involved the C word, and I called it out and it didn't happen around me again. It is disappointing, but not at all surprising to hear that five years later, racism continues to be present in that workplace. Good morning. A nice early start. We're doing a scene on location. Welcome to Backstage. Regular cast member Sharon Johal said on Instagram that a cast member referred to her as the black one and or blackie and that other cast members repeatedly mimicked the Indian character Apu from The Simpsons with accompanying Indian accent and movement of head in my presence. What? What are you thinking? I mean, thank you. I'll come again. Incidentally, just last week, Hank Azaria, the actor who played Apu in The Simpsons, publicly apologised to all Indians for the character. The Quickie Mart owner, who many believed was an offensive racial stereotype, has long been used as a racial slur. You know, the idea that uh, anybody was young or old, past or present, uh, was bullied or teased uh, based on the character of Apu, it just really makes me sad. It was certainly not my intention. I wanted to spread laughter and joy with this character. And the idea that it's, you know, brought pain and suffering in any way, uh, that it was used to marginalize people, it's, just, it's upsetting, gen genuinely. Neighbors, everybody needs good neighbors. Back to Ramsey Street. And I look through the neighbors' cast of characters over the past 36 years, and there's not a lot of color to see. In response to questions from the ABC, Fremantle Media said in a statement, We remain committed to ensuring a respectful and inclusive workplace for all employees on the set of Neighbours and take very seriously any questions about racism 
or any other form of discrimination. And yet here you are all gossiping about me, deciding the content of my character without asking me first. The company says it's now engaged an independent legal investigation and has promised to take whatever steps are appropriate as a result. Sharina Clanton says she wants to see real change. I want to see action plan. I want to see strategies. I want to see policies.